this episode, we get some sails on this sailboat and visit a litter of puppies for their very first vaccination. All right, so we've been running the engine um, every day for the last um, four days. Yeah, so we've been in the water four days. So today I'm gonna check the alignment of the shaft and just tighten some of the bolts back here and just make sure everything's as it should be. Um, yeah, ready for hopefully doing like a test motor out of the dock soon. Even though we already did it with Rafa, we wanna do a couple more because we need to test the autopilot and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's day four in the water. We've mostly been doing like cleaning up. <laughs> we had a lot of stuff on the boat, cleaning the outside of the boat and checking that our dinghy inflated and is working normally because um, it hasn't been inflated for a year and it was a new dinghy, but you know, so far so good though. Um, basically what we're doing is checking the alignment and the easiest way to do that is we're essentially measuring the gap using um, like little feeler gauge between um, this red bolt and the flange that's attached to the um, engine. And so we're measuring it at 90 degree intervals. So like up here, side, side. Um, obviously it's gonna be pretty difficult for me to measure it from the bottom, but we can at least slide the gauge in. Uh, and provided it's all the same, um, that means that our alignment is still good. If there's a gap, um, if the gap is different between it, you kind of tighten based on where the gap's the largest um, to, you know, uh, bring either this side in, this side in, top, bottom in, um, and get an idea of whether the alignment's still all good. So that fits in, and then we roll it to, oh, that. This side's where it's the loosest. So you can see that's a lot more gap. And then that's the maximum gap we can have. Yeah, see, I think it's a little loose. Maybe just a little bit. Only 0.01 off, which is within the acceptable limits. So it might, yeah, I guess we just check it over like once a week for now and see what it does. So we've come out here early today in the hopes that we can get some sails up. Um, we're going to just do the headsail today and then try tomorrow morning to do the mainsail. Um, the wind tends to pick up around like 10ish, so we're hoping we can get it done. It's only like seven o'clock now, so hopefully we can get it done before the wind picks up and before it's too hot. You can see the sun's just starting to come up. So I think we probably want. I think we want this as close to that as we can get and then we can start lifting it up I guess. Starting with this bit. Well yeah. Which uh is it this line or this one? The blue one that's loose. Down a bit. Yep. Ah. Between my ankle and my hat, I'm like very much getting in the way of things. It's long around. <laughs> Just had a simple bowline tied on it. Just like that. Cool. So 
so now we run the red line the furling in line and we should be good we might have to like be here feeding that rope in. can I keep going? keep going hopefully it's not tangled but I don't think it is That seems like the right direction so far. <laughs> right, jib is on. Um, no complications, which is nice. It's filled the right way and it uh, looks good. We're just going to the veterinary clinic now to pick up some of the last vaccines from our vaccination campaign that we did in December because there are nine new puppies just down the road from us that we want to go get vaccinated because they're eight weeks old so they're ready for their first vaccine and they're at the age that they're very susceptible to getting diseases so we're going to make sure they're protected. <laughs> this was Bella's first litter and she had nine puppies in total. Bella's family had originally planned to breed her a few times, but after learning how much work nine puppies are, they planned to have her spayed very soon. We gave the pups their first vaccination to protect against parvovirus, distemper, coronavirus and hepatitis. We also gave them a full check over. Because they are only eight weeks old, they will need a booster vaccination to gain full protection against these deadly diseases. Jim's just up the mast um, spraying the PTFE WD-40. It's like a dry lubricant, so hopefully our slides, sail, slide, slide better. Right. Ready to go down? Yep. Right now that the mast is clean and um, lubricated, we will put the main on and the sail bag on. And it's a pretty big job putting the main on because you've got to put battens in and we may even consider putting the reefs in as we go. We're just going to see kind of how the wind's holding off and get as much done as we can. And then worst case, we just have to pop it up again for um, the um, reefing lines. Just as I said that, the wind just like gusted a teeny bit and then it stopped immediately. So hopefully it holds off.
tail keeps going back and forwards and nearly knocking me off the freaking boat. So every time it moves, I'm like, <laughs> stay there, stay away. I want to fall off the boat. Such fun to work in a windy marina. There's been no wind until I said, hopefully the wind holds off. Now. is now a boat with two sails so we can take her out for a test now um, we didn't really want to test the motor out there without our sails just in case we're 99.999% sure the motor is fine but you know better to have some sails on the boat we had one final job to do to make chuffed ready for her first big sea trial Put it on like a bit thick and then do the tipping thing once it's on there. So pretty. We'd like to say a big thank you to our patrons who make our mission of providing veterinary care possible. Next episode, we take her for a spin. Until then, stay chuffed everybody. <laughs>